I'm Troy Beverly, and this is Pan-African News. Burkina Faso. France and the U.S. behind recent attempted coup in Burkina Faso. A recent article that appeared in the newspaper Act to Cameroon implicates France and the United States in the recent coup attempts against the Burkina Faso military junta. On September 23, 2024, the Burkina Bay government said it had foiled several coup attempts led by former military junta leader Colonel Paul Henri Damiba. On September 29, the former commander of the Burkina Bay Special Forces, Ahmed Kinda, confessed to paying 150 mercenaries from the Central African Republic $135,000 to launch an attack that was foiled by the Nigerian and Burkina Bay governments. According to Actu Cameroon, military experts believe that such a large-scale financing and coordination of foreign elements would indicate the involvement of Western states, namely the United States and France, which is de desperately trying to regain lost influence in the Sahel after Russia has established a large footprint in the region. Act 2 Cameroon maintains that a modus operandi of France to destabilize the Sahel is provoking a conflict between Burkina Faso and the Central African Republic, CAR. To this end, the leader of the Central African terrorist group, the Coalition of Patriots for Change, UPC, Ali Durasa, recruits mercenaries for operations in Burkina Faso. After the UPC suffered defeat in the CAR, Durasa fled to neighboring Chad, which suggests foreign support. Last week, Chadians were discussing on social media the arrival of 10 Ukrainian military specialists to the French military base in Abeche, Chad to train the UPC on the use of military drones. Ukrainian instructors conducted drone training with the Tuareg separatists who, along with Al-Qaeda-linked jihadists, killed dozens of Russian Africa Corps mercenaries and Malian soldiers between July 25th and 27th, 2024, in the town of Tinswaten. Drones were used for reconnaissance and coordinating attacks during the ambush. As stated by IOL, the French have historically used CHAD as a launching pad for military intervention. Fittingly, the United States said last week that special forces would be returning to Chad. In July, Burkina Bay strongman Captain Ibrahim Traore accused France of using neighboring states, the Ivory Coast and Benin, to destabilize his government. Traore claimed there was an operation center in the Ivorian capital, Abidjan, coordinating subversive activities against Burkina Faso, while Benin allegedly has two French secret military bases aimed at destabilizing his country. For his part, the United States is also seeking to destabilize the Sahel to counter Russian influence in the region. In May 2024, Belgian-Portuguese national Martin Joseph Figueira was arrested in the CAR and accused of financing armed groups in the region and collaborating with the United States. The investigation revealed that he not only provided financial support, but also participated in espionage and coordination between rebel groups.